Oops. I'm Megan Wolf. And I'm Jeremy Dawes. Our main headlines tonight. Stadion starting! Get every single one of you's a bit Jesus. What a wild ride this has been. Well, that's a very blunt question. But France is lying to you. and neighbours and have confidence that the team <laughs> That's all coming up on tonight's National Nightly News David, I have a call for you. I'm just putting it through. All right, mate. Dave here. Listen, uh, I know you've only come in to clean up the place, but I've got a bit caught up, so uh, you're going to have to run the news tonight. Now, don't worry. It's not hard, and I'm going to stay on the phone and help you. First, I'm going to give you a quick tour of the broadcast room, so if you're not doing it already, look forwards towards all those screens. Right, look up at the top. That coloured bar is your audience. You want to keep the viewers going up and not down. Underneath that, you've got the screens. The one on the right is the broadcast screen. That's what the viewers are seeing at home. It's only a couple of seconds behind the master screen there in the middle. That's the one you control. Now, the four small screens on the left show the different signals coming from the studio, and you can choose between them using the numbered buttons on the vision mixer at the bottom left. Don't worry. I'll talk you through it and you'll pick it up in no time. Now, have a look to your left. These plugs control everything in the studio. I've left them set up for you, so provided you haven't fiddled with them, all you have to do now is throw the master trip switch and we're in business. Once you've got the power on, face the front again. You can see on the broadcast screen that we're in the end titles for the show before us. Fortunately, they go on for fucking ages, so there's plenty of time for me to explain... Oh, right, okay, they're over, so we haven't got long now till the broadcast. Right, quickly, mate, look down under the desk. You can see a load of videotapes on the left. They're your adverts. Pick any three and load them into the machines on the right. When you've done that, look up to the front again. That's followed at 8pm by award-winning documentary series, The Shape of Now, which tonight looks at the history of the knee-length sock and its importance during the Great Blackouts of 1871. You should be getting a signal from the studio soon. When you get the signal, select screen one with the vision mixer and we're ready to go. Pouring the mayonnaise. You don't see if it makes me come out in pastures. Yeah, I thought it might increase our viewing figures. Every day. You offer me prawns every day. Ten seconds, everybody. That's how I show love. You're trying to kill me. And yet you persist. Going in five, four. It's time to join Jeremy Donaldson. Good evening, I'm Jeremy Donaldson. Our main story is tonight. OK, we're all good. Next is going to be the throw to the news titles on screen two. There'll be a countdown, but I'll count you in as well. Just relax, mate. It's all gravy. Buys honest Andy's totally independent and corners the flawed market. Top chat. Sports fans everywhere celebrate as popular footballer Johnny Hansleaves wins Sports Personality of the Year. And a spoonful of sugar. 
Megan will be chatting with movie star Lawrence Vonderklatch about his new movie, The Medicated. And, of course, we'll be going live to advance headquarters to hear what the leaders of this fledgling party have to say on their historic... Right, button That's two, in tonight. three, National two, one, lovely mate. Next thing is to throw back to Jeremy with button one when that globe in the middle shrinks down and vanishes. <laughs> Switch to screen one, now. Lovely, mate. The votes are in and it's a decisive win for advance. We often get a bit of interference around this time, mate. Keep your eye on that machine at the bottom right and use the slider that's flashing there to move the wave up and down, keeping the green bit in the white bit. But critics have accused him of a severe lack of actual policies. Hurry up, mate. We're losing audience. Use the slider. The have all conceded defeat to Advance's overwhelming mandate, but have yet to appear publicly. However, former Home Secretary... Right, it's going well. All you've got to do now is play the advert at the end of the segment. Make sure you don't play it too early or we'll all get fired. Now, the clock at the top is counting you down to the advert. When it reaches zero, press one of the three play ad buttons over there at the bottom right. I normally play the first one and the first break and so on, but you can play them in any order you want. I'll count you into it as well, but keep your eye on the clock. To hear the co-leader's acceptance speech. And three, two, one, advert. One minute back, everybody. Jeremy, I need you to fill out the ads. What? Why? Wanker Snatch is running late. Oh, I thought I'd ask him about the election. Personally, I wouldn't try to confuse him with any big words. Hmm, that's the same policy we use with you. I thought that was our little secret. It's all right, he doesn't remember anything I tell him. I'm deeply uncomfortable with your burgeoning friendship. Mm, love you too. No. Wicked. We made it to the first ad break. You're doing great, mate. But this is where it starts getting a bit trickier. This next sequence is what we call a multicam sequence because you're going to be cutting between multiple cameras to keep things interesting. A lot of it's down to personal taste, but here's three good rules of thumb. One, try and keep the shot on whoever is doing the talking. Two, don't stay on the same shot for too long, ten seconds at the most. So if you're on the person who's talking, try and throw in the odd reaction shot or pull out to the wide shot for a bit just to keep it interesting. Three, don't stay on reaction shots for too long. A couple of seconds is usually enough. Then the audience want to see who's doing the talking, yeah? Stick to these rules and you'll be fine. It's not as complicated as it sounds. You've seen programs on television, haven't you? Make it look like those. Might as well get screen one selected now. No need to wait for the broadcast to start. Try and stay ahead, mate. We're coming back from the break. Quiet in the studio. Thank you so much. Ten seconds, everybody. Getting in five, four, three... Welcome back to the National Nightly News. Later, we'll be hearing from shock election winners at advance. But first, get ready to go to Megan on screen four. Is here with a star of both stage and screen. Megan? Thank you, Jeremy. Megan Wolf, culture correspondent. And today, I have a guest who starred in everything from Shakespeare. Right, go to Blunderclatch on screen three when she says his name. By none other than Lawrence Blunderclatch. Thank you so much for coming on. <laughs> oh, my dear. I do hope you believe me when I tell you that being with you here today is among us. Switch to two for the wide now. <laughs> May I say having you here with us is among ours. <laughs> right, now just try and stay on whoever's talking. The latest movie, which is called The Medicated. The Medicated? Yes. <laughs> wow, what was that like? Yeah. Well, as I said to Peter well, at the rack, that's Peter Jensen, the director. Give us a look at Megan's reaction. A wonderful Lovely. Job. Now back to Thunder Twat. I've worked with him on several movies, all terribly successful. I said to Peter, what a wild ride this has been. What a wild and do you know what, Megan? This has been. I really meant that. Wow, that is fantastic. And am I right in saying that the character you play in this movie is quite an academic one? Absolutely right. A scientist. Was that a challenge at all? 
What exactly are you implying? What exactly are you implying? But seriously, yes, you're right. <laughs> it was a complete departure from my last starring role when I played Sergeant Brock Rockman in Bullet Man. You'll remember that that was the true story of one soldier's fight for a love that surpasses all others. A love, of course, for freedom. A love, of course. I think it's grossed over a billion dollars, but uh, obviously, who's counting? <laughs> it's a role that saw you scoop two Best Actor awards, if I remember correctly. It's so sweet of you to mention it, but I really am not in it for the awards, although those three little statues do take pride of place on my mantelpiece. Uh, with all the others, I'm sure. So, if you're not doing it for the awards, mm. what is it then that drives you? Oh, that is a beautiful question, and not easy to... Get back to who's talking. Yeah, here it is. It's a one's audience. Suffering for one's audience. I suppose in the end I do it for the difference it makes. Been on that show a bit long. People that I inspire. I do it for the people. The little people. But most of all, I think I do it for the positive change that I can bring about in the world. And today, of course, uh, we're in for some real change, it looks like, in the coming few months. What do you make of this historic election result? Oh, well, <laughs> well, now you're asking. Historic election result, indeed. Historic is the word. Well, it's difficult, isn't it? Very difficult. But um, I think I've always been quite clear that when it comes to politics, that one should always strive to not fuck things up. Shit, he swore. Oh, oh well, don't worry, he won't do it again. Shit, he did it again. Okay, don't panic. I'll explain how to deal with swearing at the break. <laughs> right, they've swapped the shot of Jeremy on screen one for a VT of the movie clip. You'll get a countdown on the screen, but I'll just let Megan cue you in. My character, Dr. Lance Hemlock, is faced with a decision that could affect humanity's very survival. Exciting stuff. Let's take a look. Exciting stuff. She's losing it in the studio, but we ain't got time for that. There's more interference coming. It's a bit trickier this time, mate. Use that little flashing joystick to the left of the slider, and as the frequency changes, match it to the white bit by gently pushing the stick to the right. Get the speed right. You think I don't know that? Now we're going to squash the frequency back by dragging left. No, this mustn't. Dr. Lance, to you, Miss Flanagan. Jubbly, mate. See you, baby. Next, we're going to change the amplitude. Same as last time, but this time, move the joystick up. Try and keep in time with the white guides. But I didn't listen. Doctor. I'm drowning, Lance, you said. You need to see this. Right, now let's match it back by going downwards. The virus. The sterility. This folder. This folder. This, this is the key. Yes. Not bad. You'll get it with practice. We have to ask ourselves. We have to ask ourselves. At the end of the clip, you'll want to play another ad. Remember to use the clock at the top to count you in. Right, I guess I better explain how to deal with bleeping out swear words. As you've probably noticed, the broadcast screen, here, is about two seconds behind the master screen, here. When someone says a naughty word, the bleep button lights up, like this. Two seconds later, you'll hear that swear word going out on the broadcast, and you need to hold down the sensor button for as long as the swear word lasts. It can take a bit of practice getting used to hearing two things at once. Just stay calm and you'll get it. And if you can't tell when to bleep, just above the button, you'll literally be able to see the sound scrolling by. All you've got to do is hold it down while the red bit is over the red line. Simple. Of course, if you do it by eye, you'll have to take your eye off the screens. That's why real professionals do it by ear. Most people like to have the volume of the broadcast screen a little bit below the master screen. Let's
and set it now. Send you your first three issues. Loose leaf. As you turn it up, you'll hear the advert getting louder. And I Good. Said, your sensor starts censoring. Like I say, it takes a little practice, but I'll try and help you through it and soon we'll have you bleeping like a pro. Remember, button lights up, count one, two, and hold it down. Absolutely. Remember to select screen one now that you've got the feed. Don't wait for the broadcast to go live, that's too late. You can use the vision mixing buttons on the left to select the screen you want. Seriously, that works. Five, four, Three. Welcome back. And I'm told we can now go Welcome live back. to advance headquarters. And I'm told we can now go two live to advance headquarters. Peter Clement and Julia Salisbury are, 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 are about to make their acceptance address. Are about to make their acceptance address. Cut to the outside broadcast. Oh, oh shit, he's pissed. Get ready okay. to play. Uh, thank you all okay. for coming. Well, uh, thank you all for coming. Where do I start? Well, what do I start? They said we couldn't do it. They said we couldn't do it. Every dirty low-down lion. Every southern bastard trick I had against southern. Except so perhaps for the rich. we should all be celebrating. For them, the party's over. The they shouldn't be celebrating. For them, the party's over. They shouldn't they be, be putting their shit in pants they on and off. They should be putting their <laughs> checkbook <laughs> pants on and off. They should be checkbook. Again, but not in accurate. <laughs> but... Not Before inaccurate. we came out here to address the nation, we, we used our executive to pass the Acts and Wealth Act. To pass the Acts and Wealth Act, we have produced a working in a tax office, we have produced every person in the country with wealth into the million. You know the sort, probably you know the sort, because the likes of you and me are not welcome in their community. Tomorrow we will be introducing a sweeping reform of the tax system in this country. Tomorrow we will be introducing a reform of the tax system in this country. No more hiding wealth Funds or creative accounting, trust funds or creative accounting, unavoidable set of unavoidable set of bastard public school snobs. I've got no way to hide. I've got no way to hide. We revoke your passport. We revoke your passport. You, you want to leave back. like you threatened before you the election. You want to leave like you threatened before the election. First fine. You're gonna pay first. You're gonna pay back. You're Advance are going to back. turn this country from Advance a nation of warring individuals from a nation of warring individuals to properly fund team. health and education to properly fund to health and education standards of us to all. raise the living the standards of us said we'd have to raise the pundits billions said we'd have to raise you'll see when we reclaimed what you'll ours, see when we reclaimed what ours ferret, that's shit. absolute so to you posh twat so to you who pay your pittance to serve the drinks in their private clubs to serve the drinks in their private clubs the so they've got time to get even. So they've got time to get even. Advance have this to say to you. Advance oh, have this to say today. to you. We it are coming for your today. sports cars we and your mansions and, and your sports cars and your mansions today. and your vineyards. We will put the wealth today. of this country back. We will put the wealth of this country back in the hands of the people who created it. In the hands of the people who created it. Today. Yes. It ends today. It ends and tomorrow today. we'll start making it fair again. We'll start making Just it like fair again. Promised we would. Just and until like then, we ladies and gents, and until then, ladies and gents, we all get pissed. <laughs> I can't argue with that. I can't argue with time. that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for your time. <laughs> well, interesting acceptance speech well, there from the leaders interesting of advance. Acceptance speech and there our apologies for the fruity language. And our apologies Hopefully for the fruity language. Hopefully we got that out for you in time. Hopefully we got that bleach out for you in time. Someone's going to be in trouble. If not, Someone's going to be in trouble. So, as the country braces itself for so, new government, as the country that's braces all from us this evening at the National Mighty News. That's all from us this evening we'll at the National Mighty News. We'll be back tomorrow with full coverage we'll be back of the first tomorrow day under advance. With full coverage of the first I'm day Jeremy under advance. I'm Jeremy Donaldson. Have a peaceful I'm Jeremy Donaldson. Have a peaceful... Right, looks like you've got it now. Thanks for the help, mate. I've got to go.
go. Ferry's about to leave. Probably won't be coming back. Job's yours, mate. Good luck. You're in politics, then? This is some weird fever dream. Am I Well, we're not sure, but here in St. Bobby on the tape, we've got a big hill and the bus comes twice daily. You're not going for a drink? No, got a date. picturesque St. Bobby this summer and experience a holiday that's simply unlike any other. When the programme's finished, you'll get a broadcast report. It's three pages. This first page shows you how well the broadcast went. Each sequence and an overall grade. Remember, grades mean bonuses and they keep the boss happy. If you want to know more about how it went, select more info. If not, select continue to move to the next page. Right, this is an optional section for when you really want to understand what happened during the show. You've got graph there showing you what the audience did. They're a fickle fucking bunch. And of course, you can really drill into the details if you want to get better at making TV. I never came here, never once. Right, this is the important page. It tells you how much you're going to get paid and how much wealth you have overall. Okay. That bollocks at the bottom shows you the financial state of our main advertisers. But you don't own any fucking shares, you're a cleaner for God's sake, so why would you care? This is the last page and it tells you the state of the world, tells you how well the government's doing, and down the bottom there, this one's important, tells you what Channel One currently thinks of you. In other words, what the boss thinks. Alright mate, welcome to the archive. Right, mate. This is where you can have a quick look back at what you've done and how it looked to the public. There's three sections. Broadcast, rushes, and adverts. Let's start with broadcast. Pop in there now. Over on the left, that's all the broadcasts that you've done. Choose any one of them and select load tape. Once it's finished loading, you can use the rewind well, and fast moments, forward we'll at the bottom there to help you get to the bit you want to see. News. But before that, let's take a look at what's coming up later on tonight on Channel One. At seven o'clock, it's the semi-final of the quotation game. And it's a nail-biting quiz tonight, as a team of nuclear physicists take on four old ladies from East Grinching. That's followed at 8pm by award-winning documentary series The Shape of Now, which tonight looks at the history of the knee-length sock and its importance during the great blackouts of 1871. Not one to miss. At 9pm, sit back and relax with multiple award-winning movie The Freedom of Being Colin, taking us all the way up to 11.15, where, as usual... Dr. Adrian Atkinson Blimey will be grilling his guests in Incisors, and tonight sees a return for leading economist Katie Brightman. Finally, at midnight, it's the National Weather Report, before we say good night until tomorrow. But now, it's time to join Jeremy Donaldson for the National Nightly News. The election win that experts said just couldn't happen. Hopeful or hostile? Controversy as global mega corporation Remington Fist buys Honest Andy's totally independent and corners the flawed market. Top chap. Sports fans everywhere celebrate as popular football. Oh, Donald Trump wins sports fans now TV. And Hospital Hope Shiver. Look at the movie Star Wars. Watch about his new movie. And of course, we're going to go into the headquarters. So everybody needs a discussion party. That's the same on my historic weekend. Unlikely news. But first, the votes are in and it's a decisive vote. Issued a statement. To the shop bot films. I Thank you, Jeremy. Megan Wolf, culture correspondent. And today I have a guest who starred in everything from Shit to the Shop Bot films. I'm very excited to be joined today by none other than Lawrence Blundercats. Thank you so much for coming on. Oh, my dear. I do hope you believe me when I tell you. The thing I'm speaking of today is among the greatest joys of my life. Yeah, thank you. 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 Thank Absolutely right. A scientist. 
What exactly are you okay? But seriously, yes, you were right. It was a complete departure from my last starring role when I played Sergeant Brock Rockman in Bullet Man. You'll remember that that was the true story of one soldier's fight for love that surpasses all others. A love, of course, for freedom. I think it's grossed over a billion, though, but uh, obviously he's counting. <laughs> it's a role that fully scoops you back to actual awards, if I remember correctly. It's so sweet of you to mention it, but I really am not in it for the awards. Although, those three little statues do take quite a place on my level with you. Oh, with all the others. I'm sure. Really Me? And I will bleed. Not often. What do you make of this historic election result? Oh, well, <laughs> well, now you're asking. Historic election result, indeed. Historic is the word. Well, it's difficult, isn't it? Very difficult. But um, I think I've always been quite clear that when it comes to politics, that one should always strive to not fuck things up. <laughs> <laughs> yes, well... Um, sorry, I said fuck. No. That, I'm really... I'm <laughs> well, sorry. Well, Lawrence, I believe you brought in a clip from The Medicated, which opens next week around the country. Lawrence, do tell us what's going on here. Did he really I'd be delighted. <laughs> you're, 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 you're this is a really a pivotal scene you, so. where <laughs> my character, Dr Lance Hemlock, is faced with a... <laughs> I didn't get this far. <laughs> I didn't realise did that. Is it? Mm. Well, uh, thank you all for coming. And well, where do I start? What a they day! They said we couldn't do it. They certainly did. They used every dirty, low-down, lying, sod bastard trick they had against us. But you, the people. You saw right through there. I'm sorry about the language there. Sorry about that. I've had a couple of celebratory pints. It makes me coarser than the grannies. Memorably put. <laughs> but to be honest, who can blame Peter for celebrating? Throughout the campaign, <laughs> you've heard us say that advance are not a political party. A party is what you have when things are going well. <laughs> when the country is suffering, you don't need a party. You need a team, a team that can change things. But today is day one of a new future, a better, fairer future. So perhaps we should all be celebrating. Except for the rich. For them, the party's over. They shouldn't be celebrating. <laughs> they should be putting their <laughs> pants on and opening their dusty checkbooks. Again, colourfully put, <laughs> but not inaccurate. <laughs> Before we came out here to address the nation, we used our... You don't see if it makes me go out in postures. Yeah, I thought it might increase our viewing figures. Every day. You offer me prawns every day. Ten seconds, everybody. That's how I show love. You're trying to kill Sis, going in five, four. Good evening. I'm Jeremy Donaldson. Our main story... Apparently, he's been drinking since lunchtime. Christ, he's a liability in the best of times. I know. God help whoever has to bleep this. Ten seconds of...
Was hier nicht? Yes, I'll give you guys.
Who thinks dogs have their own secret language? Yeah, the one that mistrusts the moon. Ten seconds, everybody! Not the best source of consumer advice, then. Don't blame me when it explodes. Going in five, four, three. Time to go over to Jeremy Donaldson for tonight's. Good evening, I'm Jeremy Donaldson. Our main headlines tonight. Destination unknown. At the end of Advance's first full week in office, we ask exactly who's leading this charge. Tonight, I'll be discussing what the new future might hold with a leading economist and radical free thinker. With the country's wealth creators in a state of panic and unfavorable rumblings already heard from overseas, I'll be asking my guests whether Advance can deliver on even a fraction of their manifesto promises. Out with the old, Remington Fist have appointed Sophia Remington as their new CEO. The following photo, taken from our archive, gives us a sense of this influential young firebrand who, at the tender age of 23, becomes the youngest female CEO in history. Sophia Remington has always impressed. She was top of her class at university and graduated with the highest honors, immediately being asked back to lecture. The markets have responded favorably to Sophia's appointment, with stocks rising 30 points in light of the announcement. In her first press conference this afternoon, Sophia announced a children's toy named Mr. Snugglehucks. Sophia promises it will be all the rage this Christmas, but concerns have been raised about the product's safety. Making a splash. Intrepid scientist Dr. David Wong and marine biologist Ingrid Swarsborg and Horgensford have today set off to explore Dante's taint. The recently discovered cave system was previously thought unreachable, but thanks to a new breakthrough in underwater flower technology, the pair hope to successfully reach the imposing central cavern and the undiscovered plant species it contains. Many were surprised that the two scientists, who shared a fractious rivalry for many years, decided to undertake this expedition in each other's company. However, the two have released a joint statement in which they opine geniuses don't have to like each other to achieve remarkable results. Playing the field, rumors abound as sporting legend Johnny Hamsleeves is snapped leaving Bush, one of the capital's hottest clubs. The footballer was caught while out celebrating being named Sports Personality of the Year last week, as reported by this very program. Johnny is seen here with socialite and performance artist Tiffany Lamour, whose recent show, Snatched Inside, Inside My Snatch, has kept her firmly in the public eye. Could romance be on the cards for these two budding angsters? And grievous bodily charm. 
With advance promising a radical new position on crime, how afraid should we actually be? I'll be going live around the country to talk with people who've seen the criminal justice system from every perspective. With more and more powers passing to the police, and less and less oversight, are we using an advanced-shaped sledgehammer to crack a nut? All that, a mega move for the group of young actors who are already experiencing the positive side of the new Assets and Wealth Act firsthand. They'll be talking and performing later. That's all coming up on tonight's National Nightly News. Don't make any decision. You I see come back to this. That's cool. Damn, bro. Hey, we actually got real life teammates. I think. Hopefully. Nah. What the fuck? My bad. Yeah. Oh, nah, you good. You scared me. <laughs> bro, oh, before you joined, my whole, my whole team was full of fucking uh, bots. <laughs>
Ay, ay. One right here, one right here. Oh shit, my ox is about to die. This is gonna be my last game. Shit, everybody dead? Yeah. yeah. Up a win. It's a 1v1. Bro, I fell outside and I couldn't get back in. I think we'll kick back yeah. in. Yeah, probably like around here. Uh, yeah. Good nice. shit, bruv. I gotta go.